And so uh, we have a great gentleman here coming all the way from Florida, and he's a patriot, and he supports the new federal state of China and our fight against the Chinese Communist Party. And the new federal state of China was founded back in 2020 by Mr. Mao Zedong, who is the CCP's enemy number one. And so we, he has been leading more than 500 million Chinese people. To take down the world's largest dictatorship, and we know that the only thing worse than the CCP in China is the CCP in America. And the CCP is already here. It 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 it's it, uh, it's influencing your Capitol Hill, the Wall Street, the Hollywood, the Silicon Valley. So as an America, why do you think that we need to sit down together to talk about taking down the Chinese Communist Party? Well, thank you, Nicole. Uh, it's very important to understand that. This invasion of、uh, communism and、uh, socialist ideology has not just started now; it started decades in the past, and it infiltrated not just America but other countries around the world as well. And it's important now to take notice that the the domination in the financial market, the social media market, the Silicon Valley,、uh, even Hollywood, and and many aspects of the American life,、uh, really puts at risk the cause that. Everybody emigrated to this country for,、uh, whether they came from China or from the Middle East or from Africa or from anywhere in the world, they came for freedom and democracy. And、uh, it's it's uh, really uh, alarming to see that the Chinese、um, uh, Communist Party influence in in the United States has grown so much to where it really needs a, a stand because. Obviously, this is not a partisan issue. This is not a conservative and liberal issue. This is a human issue, regardless of what political um, um,、uh, view people have. They should all unite on giving freedom to the people, especially that have been suppressed for so long under Chinese communism. And thank you so much for your deep understanding about the、uh, CCP's infiltration and influence in this country. Because you know we have seen how CCP has have grown strong, and thanks to America's freedom, I mean CCP has fully exploited America's freedom in this country to destroy freedom. And we got to stop them. And you know, the most、uh, notable issue is that the CCP has hired America's top law firm to represent their interest and trying to destroy the Chinese whistleblower、uh, movement and the new members of the new federal state of China. So they're trying to destroy the most formidable enemy of the CCP on the U.S. soil. So this is why we have to fight. So it's nothing to do with the American domestic politics. I know you're wearing a A Trump hat, but I think you said it beautifully. This is not a partisan uh, uh, issue. This is a human issue, and I I cannot see why the people that from the Democrats' side and the people who are、um, a moderate, why not join the new federal state of China to take down the Chinese Communist Party? It's a human issue. It's an American issue because. I don't want our story to become your children's、uh, story. We're the survivors of the Cultural Revolution. We're the survivors of the Tiananmen Massacre. We're the survivors of the forced labor camp, the forced abortion, everything, all the human disasters. So we don't want our story to become your children's story, and we want to take down CCP so your children don't have to take down the Chinese Communist Party. Absolutely, absolutely, and and、uh, I thank you for pointing that out because it's really important to understand that this is a wake-up call. And the reason I say it's a wake-up call is because what you just mentioned.、Um, unless we take a firm stand to confront the uh, communist uh, influence in America, the United States is going to turn into another China, and nobody wants that. Whether they're Democrats, you know, Republicans, or Independents, nobody really wants that in America. But it's also important to understand that、uh, one of the vulnerabilities that we have in our democracy is something that the Chinese Communist Party has exploited, using our laws and our democracy, and infiltrated, turning our freedom against us by、um, uh, infiltrating everything, every aspect of our lives. Whether it's the Chinese products that are、uh, flooding the markets in the U.S. at a really cheap rate due to child labor and sweatshops in in China,、um, and and、uh, Americans in general have to take a stand and refuse and start supporting American products so that they continue. 
to stop can to uh, uh, help stop helping the uh, CCP uh, abuse of these um, uh, poor citizens there that are being worked in sweat sweatshops and and, and exploited, uh, and also so that like you mentioned, America doesn't turn into another uh, China. Um, and we we still want to uphold our laws and we still want to uphold our democracy. However, we have to be smart about confronting um, the the penetration, that exploitation of our laws and our freedom. Uh, we want to remain a capitalist uh, society and we want to remain a sovereign society. So we have to start confronting these um, uh, uh, funds and these influences uh, that penetrated you know, political campaigns and politicians and so on. And we'll take a stand um, to reference any uh, action that is being taken in the country, whether that applies to our democracy or that advances more socialism and more, uh, cap more uh, um, uh, communism into the United States.